In this video, we'll be studying a subtraction algorithm known as the equal addition algorithm. We'll learn, we'll learn how to use the algorithm to subtract two numbers and also why the algorithm makes sense. On an interesting historical note, this was apparently taught in the U.S. between the late 1600s and the late 1800s and is apparently still taught in other countries. So if you were to have a student who had recently moved to the United States, they might have perhaps learned with this algorithm. So let's go ahead and think about what's going on here. The first thing is we're going to think about this as subtraction as the distance between two numbers. So I'm going to draw a portion of a number line right here. And I'll have my point 168 and my point 412. And I'll be thinking of subtraction as the distance between these two numbers. Now I'm going to put a whole lot of information down that we wouldn't actually write down while we were using the algorithm. This is just to help us understand why it makes sense. So let's remind ourselves that we have the ones place, the tens place, and the hundreds place. And we're going to be using the fact that if we shift both numbers in the same direction, the same amount, we haven't changed the distance between the numbers. So as I begin here, I'm going to start with the ones place and I'll say, well, I can't take eight ones away from two ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 10 to the ones place. So that would be like shifting 412 10 units to the right. And I'm doing that by adding 10 ones. Now, if I shift 412 to the right 10 units, then in order to maintain the distance between the two points, I'm going to need to shift 168 to the right 10 units. But in order to do this, instead of adding 10 ones, I'm going to add 1 10. So in other words, instead of having 6 tens, now I'll have seven tens. In both cases I added ten, it's just whether I added ten to the ones place or added ten to the tens places. Now I can subtract. Twelve ones minus eight ones gives me four ones. Now let's look at the tens column. If I want to subtract seven tens from one ten, I'm going to have a hard time. So what do I do? I turn my one ten into eleven tens. So to go from one ten to eleven tens, what did I do? I added 10 tens. Adding 10 tens is the same as adding 100. So in order to maintain the distance between these two numbers, I'm going to have to add 100 to my subtrahend. Now where am I going to do this? I'm not going to add it in the tens column. I'm going to add 100 here. So instead of having 100, now I have 200. So I add 100. Then I can go ahead and subtract in the tens column. 11 tens minus 7 tens gives me 4 tens. And then I don't have any problems in the hundreds place. So I'll make this 4 minus 2. That's going to be 244. The key on this algorithm is that I'm shifting both numbers to the right. I'm shifting them um, always by adding 10 of something. First I add 10 ones and compensate by adding 1 10. So they, this number has shifted to the right 10 to the right 10. Here I added 10 tens and then 100. If I were to do this algorithm without all of the explanation, it's quite quick. It would just look like this. So it's no slower than our um, traditional algorithm that we're currently teaching. Let's do another example. Here we want to take 576 minus 89. Again, I'm going to step by step go through why this makes sense. We'll think about this as the distance between 89 and 576 on the number line. To start, we start with the ones column. We'll add 10 ones. We'll shift this to the right 10 units. 
and then we have to compensate on the subtrahend on the lower number here and we'll shift this to the right 10 units but we'll do this by adding 1 10. Then 16 minus 9 is 7. Coming to the tens place we want to go from 7 to 17 so we're adding 10 tens this time since we're in the tens place. We shift our number by adding 10 tens. Adding 10 tens is the same as adding 100, so we shift our subtrahend to the right by 100 units by adding 100. 100 right there, and now I can go ahead and subtract. 17 minus 9 is 8, and finally 5 minus 1 is 4, 487. Let's compare this equal addition algorithm to the standard algorithm that most of us probably learned. Our equal addition algorithm is based on thinking about subtraction as distance between two numbers, whereas our standard algorithm is based on thinking of subtraction as taking away. Equal addition maintains that distance between the numbers and just shifts both numbers, so it changes the values of the numbers. In the end, we're actually subtracting two different numbers, not our original ones, but by shifting them in the same way, we maintain the distance. The standard algorithm maintains the value of the numbers, but we change our grouping. They're both very efficient algorithms. We can solve the problems in both ways and get the same answer. It's always good to check a new algorithm with a trusted method. Here you can see we got the same answer.